One of the most common questions I get asked is what equipment I use, wrist straps, belt, knee wraps, all that stuff. harder than the clean and jerk. All right, Lane, see you next Friday. All right, guys, it's Max Out Friday. It's the first Max Out Friday on the peaking cycle. There's Pib, and today's heavy. So we have percentages working up. If you make all of them, you can work up to a winner at max. I'm probably gonna work up anyways because I have nationals in four weeks now. So it's crunch time. We gotta hit some heavy lifts. So that's gonna be happening in 35 minutes. For now, I'm sitting here, I'm about to take all my pre-workout stuff, which we'll go through. And yeah, today's all about getting amped and lifting as much as we possibly can. I'm fucking tired. On Fridays, I don't do caffeine until I get to the, or I'm like on my way to the gym because I don't wanna be energized and then try to get more energized. I like being tired and then feeling that flip or the switch flip and being like, oh, I'm awake now. And that amps me up. So I save that feeling for when we get to the gym. Excuse me, Pib. I need to take my pre-workout pills. Terry Blacks, shout out to Jason. Yeah, there are beers in here, but we I don't drink. My brother was here. So before all you nerds started nerding out saying I was sober and that I have beers in my fridge that were from my brother. I'm just a really good host. Okay, pop the Zen out real quick. Got HMB, three grams a day, 5,000 IUs, vitamin D3, vitamin B12, Sigma. It's good for your balls, good for your brain. Fish oil, fish oil, gorilla shroom, five of those. What else? Turk. I took it going into AO and I was fine. You got drug testing? Yeah. Um, we'll that's it. No, you are. I looked it up on Global Dro. It's good, but it's on the watch list. If it's on the watch list, I'm taking it. It's good for your brain, too. I feel more awake throughout the day. If you guys want to take cool supplements like me, go to Gorilla Mine and use discount code Dozer for 10% off. So let me know what you guys want to hear Old Dozer talk about in the next YouTube video. It doesn't have to be a question, it could be a topic, something like that. Just whatever it is, if it's weightlifting, weightlifters, things about weightlifting, or not. What? How we got this pussy. Oh. <laughs> Just ask away. Make sure you warm up, kids. You don't want to end up all injured and broken like Dozer. Did you not warm up as a kid? No. I did. A, I would do a run lot on like a Monday and be like, I'm good for the week. I don't need to warm up. Huh. Yeah. And now I've injured every part of my body. Max out Friday. <laughs>
So snatches did not go very well today, and it's probably because I went to the driving range yesterday and my shoulders feel a little weird. So making a note, not gonna go to the driving range the day before Max Out Friday, but the pool feels extremely strong. The finish feels extremely strong and my belly feels very full. So when that's the case, clean and jerks typically go well. So I'm gonna take my time, warm up for these. I got a ton of energy left in the tank, which is normally not the case. So we're gonna to try to put a new PR on the board over there. 183. Still have to compete at nationals, but for now this feels good. Mm. Oh, dude, my body. That was harder than the clean and jerk. All right, Lane. See you next Friday. All right, so if you're on the dog pack and you have a meet coming up at some point and you want things to line up properly, the thing with the dog pack is we are working up to maxes every month. So you're never gonna be out of competition shape. If you're doing the program, you're pretty much in shape all the time the way we phase things. You're still gonna get stronger, but you're also going to stay strong all the time. If you have a meet, all you have to do is message me on True Coach and tell me when your meet is, and I can plug in a taper week for you at any time. So you're gonna be ready for a meet whenever. Pip, what the fuck is that? One of the most common questions I get asked is what equipment I use, wrist straps, belt, knee wraps, all that stuff. So my wrist straps are Onyx. They are, I forget what thickness they are. They're like an inch thick. I don't know exactly what they're called. Um, but they're just leather wrist straps. They're pretty thin. You can just strap them on. I think they're the best. Whenever I use like the long denim ones that cover like that much of your wrist, it limits my mobility a lot and makes the front rack and the clean feel terrible. Um, so I don't use those. The Onyx ones, they give you support and they allow you to move your wrist around and have that range of motion while still supporting the wrist. The straps are also Onyx. Um, I use the Dark Knight straps. They're a little thinner than the brighter leather ones, which I like because it feels like you're grabbing the bar and it doesn't feel like you're grabbing over straps. And then belt, I use the Escobar belt. That's also Onyx. And you can get all that stuff for 10% off using discount code DOZER. Um, the belt is something you should invest in. The belt, I've used probably 10 different belts throughout my weightlifting career. This is the one where I'm like, okay, it makes sense. It's a leather belt, it's extremely comfortable. It doesn't pinch your sides like all the other leather belts I've worn do. It's the perfect leather belt. You feel like you're barely wearing anything and it gives you all the support you need. And it's durable. I've been beating that belt up and it doesn't look beat up at all, it looks brand new. So if you're gonna get a belt, invest in yourself, get the Escobar belt or the other one. The other one's like black or something like that, but use discount code Dozer because those are a little pricey, but you can get 10% off, which is like 27 bucks if you use my code. So I wear knee wraps. They're from Strong Strong. They rebranded to Havico, H-E-A-V-I-K-O. Um, I like using knee wraps. The main reason I like using them is because I've used them since I 
was like 15 years old. If you are not using knee wraps, do not start using knee wraps. They have knee sleeves now that are crazy durable and strong and do pretty much the same thing that knee wraps do. Once you start wearing knee wraps, it's really hard to stop using them because it stretches out your ligaments and tendons and your knees and it's hard not to bottom out in squats once you try to get off of them. So if you're not using knee wraps, don't get them. If you want to like upgrade the stability that you feel at the bottom of a squat, maybe get some like seven millimeter SPD sleeves or something like that, powerlifter squat in those. So yeah, if you're not using knee wraps, don't start, it's stupid. Uh, you don't need to have a crazy strong squat to be good at weightlifting. It helps, but if you wrap your knees just so you can squat an extra 10, 15 kilos, that's not going to correlate, and it's going to give you a dependency that you're going to need for the rest of your weightlifting career. It's. I wish I could just do a clean and jerk session without re-wrapping my knees in between reps, but I have to do that now because if I stop using knee wraps, then it's going to feel terrible. So don't even bother with that. Get some thick neoprene sleeves. Use those it's way better over the last week you guys probably noticed how i was doing these like technique breakdown like cues and stuff like that for exercises on the dog pack if you're on the dog pack and you have questions about anything on there want something broken down something's feeling weird in your technique and you think i can make a reel off of it just put it down in the comments and you might see it pop up on instagram i'm looking for more ideas more ways to help you guys out so if something's bugging you and you're lifting and it's not feeling right, just let me know. That is it for today. Today was a good fucking training session. Snatches didn't go well. Clean and jerks went great. Um, and I'm today was that kind of day where I definitely feel good for more. Um, I feel like I left some on the table. So that just fires me up for more next week. And that's exactly what we're going for next week. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that stuff. Because we are still crushing on YouTube. And it's fucking cool to see. Literally every time you guys do one of those things, it helps me out tremendously. I'm brand new to this. I'm trying to give you guys more to see, more entertainment, just more shit to watch around Dozer weightlifting. So if you could help me out, share the link. Even just hitting share and hitting copy link is really good for the algorithm. So if you guys want to do that, do that. But I'm going to stop begging you. If you guys like me, just do that stuff. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. And other than that, I will see you guys next week.